What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write an exponential function given two points, all right? And fair warning, this is kind of a more complicated example. So if you need a little bit of a basic introduction into this topic, I'll link a video to that in the card above and in the description below. Otherwise, let's just jump into this example. So the two points that we're given are two, four, and five, eight, all right? Now to write an exponential function, we wanna use the equation y is equal to a b raised to the x. Okay, now since we're given two points, we're going to want to use two of these equations, right? So y is equal to a b raised to the x. Now here, uh, two and four, these are our x and y coordinates, right? So x is two, that would be this x, and y is four, so that'd be this y, okay? So first thing we wanna do is just plug in x and y into the formula. So again, y here is four, so we're gonna say four is equal to a b raised to the x, which again is two, all right? And then doing the same thing over here, right? Five is our x coordinate, eight is our y. So then if we fill it in over here, we're gonna get that eight is equal to a b raised to the fifth power. Okay, cool. So as you can see, we have two equations and we also have two unknown variables, right? A and B over here and A and B over here. So since we have two equations and two unknowns, we can solve these either using the substitution method or elimination method. And in this case, I'm just gonna use the substitution method. Okay, so let's start with this equation right here. So all we wanna do here is just solve for one of the variables. We just wanna isolate one of the variables. And in this case, let's just isolate A, all right? So if we wanna isolate A, we need to get rid of this B squared. And to do that, we need to divide both sides by B squared. Okay, so on this side, the B squareds cancel out and we're just left with A, all right? So we get that A is equal to four over B squared, all right? Four over B squared. Okay, cool. So now that we solved for one of the variables, A, right? We know what it's equal to now. Now we can simply take that a and plug it in right here for this a into the other equation. Okay, so then here we're gonna say that eight is equal to a, that again, we know that a is equal to this thing right here, right, four over b squared. Okay, so four over b squared, and then we're multiplying by b to the fifth, right? So we're multiplying by b to the fifth. So we can just basically put that in the numerator since we're multiplying. Okay, cool. So now we have eight is equal to four B to the fifth over B squared. Okay, so since we have five Bs on top and two Bs on the bottom, these two Bs are going to kill two of the Bs up here. So then we're just gonna be left with three Bs, right? So here we just get four B cubed, right? So we get eight is equal to four B cubed. Now to solve for B over here, we just need to get rid of this four and we can do that by dividing both sides by four. So then over here, those cancel out. And here we get that b cubed is equal to two. All right, now to solve for b, we need to get rid of this cubed exponent. And to do that, you just need to take the cube root of both sides. And I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit so we can finish this one. So here, the cube root and the cubed exponent cancel out. So then we're just left with the variable b, so we get that b is equal to the cube root of two. All right, cool, so now that we know what b is equal to, right, it's the cube root of two, uh, one th quick thing that we should do here is actually rewrite this using an exponent. So the cube root of two, and we can just write it over here, the cube root of two, this is the same thing as two raised to the one-third power. Okay, so the number inside the radical still stays the same, it's still just a two. But the number out here, this three, turns into an exponent, and specifically a fractional exponent. So it turns into one third. Okay, so for instance, if you had the fourth root of two, this would be equal to, the, again, the number on the inside, so two, and in this case, it'd be raised to the one fourth power. Okay, same thing, right? Fifth root of two, that'd be the same thing as two raised to the one fifth power. All right, so this is a helpful little exponent rule to know uh, because it's gonna be really helpful in this problem anyways, all right? So again, B, we can basically rewrite this as two raised to the one third power. Okay, so again, now that we know what B is equal to, now we can just plug it back into 
uh, this first little equation right here uh, for b, and that way we will be able to solve for a, okay? So here, we're gonna have four over b squared, but again, now we know that b is equal to two and one third, right? It's equal to two and one third, okay? But look, it's still raised to the second power, okay? So we still have to put that big, that two out here, okay? And again, that's equal to a. Now, as you can see, we have an exponent raised to another exponent. So how do you simplify that? Well, whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you just multiply them together. So one third times two is equal to two thirds, right? So then here in the bottom, we really have, I'll write it again, so we have four over, and then again, just multiplying those together, two raised to the two thirds. And again, that's equal to A. Okay, now I'm gonna erase some stuff just to not get too cluttered here, and so we can see a little bit easier what we're working with. Let's just get rid of this side a little bit. Okay, so we have a is equal to four over two raised to the two thirds. Can we simplify this any further? Well, in order to divide exponents, you either wanna match up the bases or the exponents, okay? So four, it doesn't have an exponent on it, right? But we can throw an exponent on it. Basically, four is the same thing as four to the first power, okay? So as you can see here, we're just dividing exponents. So again, in order to do that, you either want to match up the bases somehow, so this four and this two, or the exponents, so the one and the two thirds. And in this case, it'd be easier to match up the bases because we can change this base, specifically the four, we can change it to two squared, okay? Because if we do that, then we're gonna have the same base, right? We're gonna have a two on top and we already have a two on the bottom. So let's do that. Let's rewrite this as a is equal to, and again, I'm gonna rewrite this four as two squared, all right? So let's rewrite it as two squared and that's over the denominator, which is two raised to the two thirds. Okay, so again, as you can see, we have the same base, right? We have a two here and a two here. So now that we have the same base and since we're dividing, all you have to do is subtract the exponents, okay? So then this is gonna be equal to, again, we have a two here and a two here, so we, you just keep the two, and then you just have to subtract the exponents. So two, right, two minus the bottom one, which is two thirds. Now two, we can rewrite as three thirds, or sorry, six thirds, just to match up with this denominator, right? So we could say that this is the same thing as six thirds minus two thirds, which is equal to four thirds. Okay, so two minus two thirds is equal to four thirds. Okay, so now we have our answer for A. All right, so we know what B is equal to, we know what A is equal to now, so now we can finally plug it into our exponential equation right here. So then we can finally say that Y is equal to A, and again, A is two raised to the four thirds, right? Two raised to the four thirds times b, and b is two raised to the one third, raised to the x, all right? So then this would be your final ugly answer. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.